Good afternoon, everyone. Just checking the time. It definitely is the afternoon. You join us live again for our kitten cam live streaming. So we've been doing this for, well, we think seven weeks now at our National Cat Adoption Centre here in East Sussex. And we are joined by our really scrumptious kittens this week. So I think this is the third week we've had these five. So we've got Snickers, Sherbet, Licorice, Gumdrop and Jelly Bean. So all very sweet indeed. And we've got Joe here with us today who's socialising the kittens. And if you've joined us for this before, then you might know a little bit about socialisation. Um, but I thought maybe, Joe, did you want to kickstart us with a little bit of a basics around kitten socialising and what we're doing and why? Yeah, so um, kittens aren't actually naturally inclined to be around humans. If they were left alone from when they're born, then they'll grow up to be feral, um, which means that they won't be suitable to be rehomed as, um, as pets. So when we have kittens here in, at Cats Protection, um, from the age of two weeks, we put them on a kitten socialisation programme, um, which basically just means getting them used to things that they might encounter in their new homes, um, just so that they don't find those things scary or threatening at all. Oh, we've got an escapee. <laughs> um, so that includes things like holding them, so you know, contact with humans, so picking them up, stroking them, um, we also um, do um, basic veterinary checks, like checking their ears and their eyes and their noses, all stuff that they will have to endure while being um, at the vets in the future. Um, so yeah, when they're only two weeks, we start very gently with all that sort of st all that sort of thing. Um, but as they get older, obviously these guys are a lot older now. Um, we start to introduce them to more things such as toys. Um, so teaching them how to play appropriately, so not with fingers and toes, because that can be quite painful. So we introduce them to lots of different toys. Um, we introduce them to cat carriers, um, so they can get used to those. Um, we give them lots of different types of food and cat litter, um, different surfaces to walk on. Um, and also introduce them to lots of different types of people as well. So um, females, males, children, um, and also um, different noises as well. So we play um, the radio here in the centre for them. And then on our website, we've actually got a, um, a playlist of different sounds um, to get kittens used to, including vacuum cleaners and fireworks and things like that, just so that they can get used to those so they're not too scary for them in the future. Great, thank you. <laughs> So these kittens are actually eight weeks old. So excitingly, they are ready to be rehomed very, very soon. So potentially in the next couple of days from our East Sussex, as I said, National Cat Adoption Centre, these kittens will be available. Now, kittens do develop quite quickly over their first eight weeks. And we do have on the website a kitten growth chart, which has lots of detail about what you might expect from a kitten's development from each week. And they actually weigh, they sort of put on 100 grams every week on average. So by the time they're around eight weeks, they should be sort of roughly about 900 grams. So there's lots of hints and tips there if you are looking at kittens to sort of um, be able to identify how old they look. And that also really helps to understand at what point in development they should be. So for example, you know, at one week old, they're not going to be able to move very much. Their eyes will actually all, um, will remain closed at that point. And they'd still require a bit of help from their mum with toileting. And at that point, they should have doubled their birth weight by then. So um, they're normally about the size of a pen. So very, very small at one week. And I think right back at the start of our kitten cam series, we did feature some very, very young kittens so um, you should be able to go back on our videos and have a look back at those so yeah very very small when we then get to two weeks their eyes and ears start to open their baby teeth will begin to appear and i'm sure very very small at that point 
they might begin to walk around that age but they would still be fairly wobbly or uncoordinated um, and they might even start to play with their siblings so very much depends on how developed those certain kittens are at that point and then at three weeks they would start to walk a little bit more confidently by then um, although they would still be probably a little bit wobbly um, and they would still need feeding from their mother so still very very small and still needing that um, care from their mother at that point things like introducing kittens to scratching posts and toys is quite a good idea at that sort of age as well at three weeks which does seem quite small but um, it's quite a good idea to start doing that quite early on to get them set up for their new home and for that element of socialization as well and then as you head into four weeks so that was obviously about four weeks ago for these little ones they then begin to eat solid food so obviously that means that their baby teeth are going to continue to grow a bit more and you'll start to probably notice a bit more development here they'll start to have a bit more interaction with their siblings and they might even be able to sort of walk and run and play at that point and then at five weeks you then might notice their eye color changing from baby blue to the color that they'll keep as adults sometimes that does stay a little bit longer um, but that's a really good way to identify when a kitten sort of starts reaching that sort of age is when their eye color is likely to change and actually at five weeks old is when they might sort of begin to learn how to use a litter tray so that actually happens quite early on um, and is something that you know we can here support them with they're playing in it right now actually so <laughs> not quite using it to its uh, actual purpose but at least they're having fun and then at six weeks so this was a couple of weeks ago for these little ones they would become much more playful chasing hiding pouncing um, and this is sort of when we really start to as joe said start encouraging them to play safely we'll do a little bit of um, fishing rod toys here like we've got today and start teaching them how to sort of play with little balls or things that you might find in the home. And then at seven weeks, so this was obviously a last week for these little ones, they would be, or should be, eating sort of solid food by then. These little guys definitely are now. And they wouldn't be um, dependent on their mother for milk at this point, um, but they may still want to suckle from her if they're, if they're with her. And then at this point is when they're eye colour would have completely changed from baby blue to the colour that they have as adults although some um, blue cats um, blue cats some white cats may keep that blue eye colour and then eight weeks so that is what these little ones are here so they'll have had their first vaccine vaccination so these little guys had theirs this week and it's obviously a great time to be booking in with the vet if, you, if they haven't already and then once they're weaned, socialised and vaccinated, they're then ready to go home. So as I say, these little ones are ready in the next couple of weeks. Joe's doing a few checks now. So Joe, do you just want to talk us through what you're doing now? Yeah, so this is the vet checks I mentioned earlier. Just examining things like their ears and their paws and checking their eyes and noses. Hello. <laughs> and things like that. Um, just to get them used to those medical examinations for when they're older, um, just so that vet visits aren't as stressful for them as they might otherwise be. But these guys seem okay with it, other than that they want to get back to playing. <laughs> so if you are interested in adopting, well, these ones or um, any others as well, looking near your home, then it's always best to go to our website and we've got a bit near the top that says find a cat. You can then search by postcode and you'll be able to see the available cats and kittens in your care. Oh, look at this little one. Very much enjoying the camera and Joe's warm legs there. Oh, <laughs> just got bashed there by its brother. So as I say, we will have lots of available cats cats and kittens near you so always good to go and check via your postcode on our website I'm sure there'll be lots of little ones like this out there please feel free to drop us your questions as well in the comments we'll be answering there or we can also answer a few here too
Oh, we've got someone, they are taking part in our 126 kilometer walk, one of our challenge events. So thank you, Tina. Appreciate you getting involved. And we are very aware that over the next few days, it is due to get hot again. Um, we've got another heat wave coming. So we will make sure that we link some of our hot weather advice in the comments below as well. Um, but please make sure that you're trying to keep your cat hydrated as much as possible. We know sometimes they don't like to have a drink, but we've got lots of advice on the website around encouraging them to drink more. And we did actually this morning post a video on Facebook with a bit of advice there as well. So feel free to go and have a watch of that. But some of the initial tips are avoid plastic bowls. Um, actually in this heat it can taint the taste of the water so it's always best to use either glass or ceramic or metal bowls always keep water bowls away from food bowls they don't like to drink in the same place that they eat so just space it out a little bit just making sure that their water bowl is large with a big surface area too and just always making sure that's obviously kept topped up as well we know that some cats do definitely prefer that running water. <laughs> so maybe instead of a, your tap, um, you could look into a cat fountain. Uh, we know that lots of the cats um, love those. So as I said, there's lots of advice there. But if you're also just generally trying to keep them cool, then as well as obviously hydration, it's really important to make sure there's some fans around the house, just to make sure that air is circulated for them. Plenty of shades, both inside and outside. So if you've got some boxes in the home or um, yeah, other ways that you can create a bit of shade for them, trying to sort of, we know that they like to bask in the sunshine. So just trying to avoid that where possible. I've also just got a few hints and tips on the website. So, um, you know, you could look into freezing a bottle of water, uh, wrap it in a towel or a pillowcase and you could place that where your cat regularly goes. Obviously just be wary of the bottle um, and that it just doesn't leak. But that's a really quick and simple way of um, trying to keep your cat cool. And actually, if you have a white cat, you will hopefully know that cats are actually quite susceptible to sun damage um, and, it, and can even get cancer. So it's actually really um, important to consider sun cream as well for those white cats. Um, always best to speak to your local vet about the, the best one to use as they will have... <laughs> pet and cat safe sun cream with all the the safe ingredients there thank you for your nice comment paul nice work on the lovely cats We have actually got a couple of growlers this morning. <laughs> well, this morning, this afternoon. They're all playing fetch. And um, you might actually be able to hear it on the microphone. Yeah, I think you can, can hear it there. 
It's having a right little play. Oh, Bethany has commented, we've got our two awesome cats from Cats Protection when they were kittens. Now they are six and living a pampered life. Well, we do like to hear that. Thanks, Bethany. Feel free to drop us a picture as well. So Robert has asked, how do I give them a home? So Robert, if you search on the website, and I'm sure we'll add a link as well, you can go to adopt a cat, find a cat, and then you'll be able to search for your local area and be able to see what cats and kittens are available there. And you may see some very similar to this five. So if you missed it, this week we have got our very sweet themed kittens. So we've got Snickers, Sherbet, Licorice, Gumdrop and Jelly Bean. Not quite sure which is which, but <laughs> all very, very sweet. And I said earlier, but these guys will be ready for rehoming in the next couple of days. So at eight weeks old, they are nearly ready to go. And look at them. Very playful. But actually, you can start to see they've all sort of got their own little personalities as well. Some are a little bit more shy than others. Some are a bit more mischievous. Some are a bit more playful. So... It's also really important for us when we're rehoming just to be really wary around, you know, all their different personalities, what their certain needs are, just so that we can rehome them to the best possible new forever home. <laughs> oh, we've got one hiding there <laughs> under the blanket. Thank you, Jackie. Fabulous work as always. We support your work and have adopted several from you. That was very, very kind. Again, we'd love to see any photos as well. So if you have adopted with us, we'd love to see the moggies that you've adopted through us. And yet, yeah, Lavinia has said that one of them is a little obsessed with the fluffy toy. <laughs> I think they're all fighting over that one. <laughs> it's just the growl. So, Joe, have you done all your checks on all of them? I Small. think so. Yeah. I'm going to try and get this one. Oh, this is the little growler. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, kittens do take a lot of time and attention as well. So that is also worth bearing in mind if you're looking at a kitten. Obviously, you need a, quite a lot of attention and playing. And 
this age, they definitely need that stimulation. Sophie has said, I could watch spree playful kittens for hours. I think we all could. <laughs> and they are very springy indeed now. Getting a bit more confident. Got a scapee there. <laughs> right, so please do send us in any of your questions. And as well, um, it's always, we always, you know, really would encourage volunteers as well across the country. So we do also have an area on the website about volunteering with us. We've actually got across the country two, over 200 volunteer run branches and over 30 centres. So we are really spread out. Right, well, I think we might leave you here for this week and we're going to head over to Instagram. So if you have got Instagram and you don't already follow us, we are on Instagram at Cats Protection. So thank you very, very much if you've joined us for today for all your support and all your questions. And we will be back again next week on Wednesday for another kitten cam. So thank you and see you next week. <laughs>